With your YouTube, it's your boy Davis, man. Thank y'all for dropping by. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the time for your ladies and gentlemen. We're back at it, man. Hey, yo! NBA 2K21, welcome to the 2K Beats Just Drop, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a reaction to it. So, in this Minecraft slash park trailer, they did show a new neighborhood. Thankfully, good riddance of the old one. That, like, why, why did they think it was okay to give the same neighborhood two, two years in a row? Ladies and gentlemen, finally, they added a new neighborhood. And we're gonna check it out right now, all right? Let's get it. I have it muted because I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna stay in cap like I haven't watched it. Dude, it's, it's, uh, it has copyrighted music, so, <laughs> yeah. So, so off the rip, we're getting like a Venice Beach vibes, you know? <clears throat> Boom, all right, I'm gonna be stopping it a lot because everything is super important here. The biggest thing I see everybody talking about off the rip, if I could find it and it doesn't freeze, is that there's no twos chords. You guys see there's six 3v3 chords. Now, one thing that someone pointed out is that this in the very front right by the prime could be a two score, but that just looks like graffiti to me. I'm not gonna lie to you, I do not see a two score. And I do not know where a two score could be. Um, yeah, that, that that intro in the beginning is not a two score. Another thing you notice, the tint from the tent events, like the 1v1 is back. It looks like they're gonna put every single event in that tent. So, Core Conquer is something that's always been outside. It literally looks like now every single event's gonna be in the tent, which I kind of prefer because uh, I don't want to have I don't want to have it taken away from people getting games apart because one of the biggest issues the neighborhood has is uh, bringing games. So yeah, but well, this is a my career trailer too. So <clears throat> that's the entrance. Now this right here is what has me a little bit kind of iffyish. All right, because now instead of doing the like square, it looks like they're going back to the. The 2K18 thing, if I'm not mistaken. Remember 2K18, how you had the long walkway and it was like the stores on each side and that kind of made the game like, like why, why do I feel like I'm running everywhere? Um, that kind of seems a little bit like it is right here, but I actually don't know because I'm not on the thing. But if that's true, then that could be a, a potential L. It's like a W and L so far from what I see. I really like this, this looks like high schools back in the game. Northeast, uh, yeah, that's a high school for sure. I genuinely wish that I could like, I genuinely wish I could listen to this, but like, like I said, it's OD copyrighted music. I'm not telling you my video. Hey, y'all, let me know in the comment section, was having high schools a W or a L when it was in the game? Colleges, college and high schools look like they're making a return. I'm not gonna lie to you, dog. Um, in terms of the cutscenes, since we can't really hear it, you know what I'm saying? Like, kinda, kinda give off a little bit of 2K16 vibes with the, with the story, but I could be wrong. But to get back into the park aspect of things, the next shot we see is the intro where they were dancing at the beginning. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, there does not look like there's two core. I saw the, the Colby mural, the Colby statue on the right, that looks really awesome. Um, this obviously is based off of Venice Beach, but the biggest thing, oh wait, wait Gold Rush, Gold Rush clothing is back? Yeah, okay, so Gold Rush is obviously back in the game. So a lot of it is, um, that's, that's 2v2, right? I can't tell that's two v two or threes, yo. Like, so from what I can tell, I don't see a two score in the park, which does give off the two K eighteen vibes. Because possibly, remember two K eighteen, you have to go like to Wakanda to play twos. That that could only be the potential issue I see so far. Okay, with the all right, two K with the Kobe Murrow. Oh snap, that's directly a hundred percent the the Ferris wheel from Old Town, isn't it? Yeah, that is the Old Town. That this right here is the Old Town Flyers uh, Ferris wheel, hundred percent. I peeped that off the rip, dog. Um, just arcade. It's like the 2 guys I've never, ever, ever stepped foot in here. NBA store. All the uh, cosplayers are gonna be happy about that. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Why? Why did they do it on the stage? Why, wait. Why are they not showing nothing on the stage? Hey, yo, I hope y'all didn't uh, just take the saturation, slide it to the left of the stage because they ain't showing nothing on the slit stage, low key. Okay. Okay. They got it on the rooftop again. Hang on, wait, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see the location of these things. They've been going mad fast, dog. Where is it at? Where is it at? I'm trying. To, I'm trying to go through each and every location, bro. It was right after this. Okay, see, this, 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 this is not in the vicinity of the park. Like, you can't see the whole layout of the of the park here. They didn't go through it like they did in other park trailers. But um, this looks like the the basketball gods event is in a completely different aspect of the park. You see, like you're going down the stairwell. Um, and like I said, I think it's important for people to be able to get park games. Because a lot of times when park events came out, uh, people weren't able to get park games because people were just playing the park events. So. Okay, good look. This is a shot of the entire neighborhood. So I'm trying to see, will we be able to get a good grasp of grasp right there? Oh, it is kind of like Venice how it is with everything. I don't know. I guess, I mean, they didn't show a lot of this. 
Take a look at the, the six shots right there, six quarts. Okay, all right, big bet. Hey, yo, so my decision, my thoughts on this looks really cool. Thankfully, it is not the same neighborhood. Because if it was, I'd be very upset. But I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, the fact that it's based off of real life park, I'm rocking with that. I like that it's kind of vibrant colors. I'm only a little bit concerned about there possibly not being a two's court. And the fact that the, the, the layout of it kind of looks similar to 2K18. But I don't even know because I haven't seen it yet. It does look like the park events are recycled. And it does look like, hang on, hang on, the Red Rewards are recycled. So, if that's true, that's the L. But in terms of the actual park aesthetic, I kind of do like Venice Beach. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Yo, if you're new to this channel, subscribe. I have no clue what channel I'm dropping. It's on my main or my second channel. Literally no clue. But thank you guys so much. My support support's truly been amazing. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Do the way Davis, I'm out. And uh, enjoy these two videos on the screen. Peace out, guys. <laughs>